Hi there, I'm Jeffrey Schmidt and I have a ukulele review for you today. This is the ukulele that we're looking at and this is the Harley Benton Kahuna Sea Turtle Ukulele. I just picked this up for my daughter for Christmas and I thought I would share it with you. This is apparently reading off of the website. This is a cashew wood ukulele. It has very little varnish or treatment on the wood. There is some, but just a little bit, which might be an issue. Moving forward, uh, you probably should be careful with it in order not to uh, scratch it or ding it up. The neck is apparently in a wood called ukume. It, of course, has this turtle graphic, which the name comes from, and the uh, fret board is apparently on amaranth, which is basically the wood that Harley Benton uses on a lot of their cheapest instruments, which I have on my Harley Benton Telecaster kit guitar. So the, the ukulele has 18 frets. It has inlays on the 5th, the 7th, the 10th, the 12th, and the 15th frets. The width of the nut is 38 millimeters. And we see here that it has a new bone nut, which is nice. Also, it comes with a Aquila or Aquila strings, which is also nice at this price point to have name brand strings on the ukulele. The bridge piece is also on amaranth, just like the fretboard. And the nut and the bridge piece here are both on imitation bone, new bone, as I said. And this is a concert size ukulele. The three different sizes that are the most common are the soprano, the concert size, and the tenor ukulele. So this is the concert size, which is right in the middle. The recordings that I'm making today with this ukulele are going to be through the Shure KSM32, which is a nice neutral mic. What are my thoughts on this ukulele? I do have a second ukulele. I have a more expensive Kala tenor ukulele. Now this, like I said, goes for 35 euros and I bought the Kala for 430 euros. So there is quite a difference in price in the two ukuleles. And the other one does sound nicer and does feel nicer for sure. But I think that given that the other ukulele is 10 times the price, it's definitely not 10 times better. It might be twice as good or three times as good, but I think that uh, for 35 euros, what Harley Benton gives you here is really a very good value. And of course, this ukulele is more aimed at beginners, which is what my daughter will be once she starts playing it. I do really think that the, uh, from my experience, that the uh, new bone bridge and nut really help the resonance of the ukulele, which is really, really nice at this price point. And like I said, it's also really great that you get name brand strings on the ukulele to start off so that you don't feel like you have to change the strings right away. So I think the resonance is pretty decent. On the other hand, uh, the fact that it's not finished very much will probably be a disadvantage in terms of long-term life of the ukulele, in terms of scratching and marring. So I think that in order to keep it without scratches, my daughter is really going to have to make more of an effort than she usually makes with her, with her possessions. So we'll see how that goes. The real cheap out part of the ukulele, besides the finish, I think is also the amaranth fretboard and the amaranth bridge piece. Now, I've never heard of any other guitar makers using amaranth. Clearly, it must be very cheap wood that Harley Benton can, uh, can get uh, for their lower-priced instruments. And it does 
make the sliding up and down the fretboard a little bit less smooth. It's not quite as nice as most common fretboard materials that I have played on. That being said, it's certainly very playable. And once again, I think this is really a great instrument for the price. I'm not sure anybody else would be able to give you a quality of instrument for 35 euros like this. I, I don't think anybody's going to be doing better than Harley Benton. So they had to cut costs somewhere and I'm just telling you where they cut those costs. This is really a very good beginner ukulele. I definitely recommend it if you have a very low budget for a beginner ukulele. For whatever reason, whether you're a beginner or whether you want a second ukulele to just bring out and throw around without worrying about it too much, although it is somewhat fragile, so you have to get a soft case for sure if you want to be out and about with it without it getting damaged. The wood is somewhat thin. I don't feel like it's going to... It's not going to break under your touch, under, your, <laughs> under the force of your thumb or fingers or anything, but I think it could uh, easily get damaged if you start dropping it or start banging it against furniture or whatever around your house. There you have it. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any comments or questions about the ukulele, let me know. If you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're interested in more videos like this on Music Gear, subscribe to my channel. Cheers and have a good day.